Hi, I'm going to do a video um, where I'm going to do my nails. They're already, I've already prepped them and put the tips on. Um, I'm going to just show you, these are the, the two mixes I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use my spring mix and my fresh mix. Um, these are the two that I'm going to use. I also wanted to um, show you here. Um, these are the tips that I use. Um, I s sell these on my eBay store. Um, these are the um, the C curve curled. You don't have to pinch these um, because they are nice and narrow and they have a nice curl to them. Um, I trimmed mine pretty short so you can't really tell but I did grab um, the same size. This is I think a number two and this is a number two. They're the nude ones. This is the one I got from from China. I, you know, we've all started with these tips. I've used them a hundred times. They're fine, but I just wanted to show you the comparison between um, the C curve tips that I offer in my store and the ones that you get from China. Again, like I said, there's nothing really wrong with them, but anyway. So I'm gonna set it down here where you can see. It's hard to. I haven't worn nails in a about a month and a half, so I'm struggling here, so pardon me. Um, and pardon my cuticles, I did destroy them pretty bad. <laughs> so, anyways, um, as you can see, that has a nice curve to it. That's the, the C curve um, curled tip and nude, and then this is the one you get from, you know, from your regular tips that I got in the, I think it was like a 500 count tip in nude from China. And you can tell there's a quite a bit of difference in length and this one's wider and there's really no, you know, you can tell these definitely have to be pinched if if you're going to use the, the other ones where these are more narrow. So this is a much better quality tip and it's thicker. Um, they are salon quality. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to point that out that I do have them on my store. I'll put them in, I'll put the link to my store um, in the video so you can, you can see. So anyway, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to start on my nails. Um, I, I'm going to state right away, I'm not a professional. Um, this is just the way I do it. Um, I'm going to not do a complete step by step. I'm going to just try to break this up. So I will be right back. Okay, so here's the deal. I was going to do a little bit of a tutorial um, of me doing my nails, but as I quickly found out, um, I was testing out a new brush, and it, um, yeah, it was an epic fail. So I just went ahead and did my nails, and I used the two mixes I, I showed. I did, um, this one's fresh. And I put a little, I don't know if you can see it, Fimo Butterfly. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, and then Spring. I did Spring on the thumbs. Um, so anyway, I need to go find my brush. Pardon my cuticles. Like I said, I have not done my nails in a couple of months. So I had to do a lot of cuticle work and... They look awful, but anyway, um, so these are my two mixes I did. Um, I just did little lines on here. I don't know if I like that or not, but anyway, the mixes are really cute. You can see um, the different stuff in there. They are so adorable. Um, I used my opaque nail bed sparkle because um, as you could probably see in the beginning of the video, um, my nail beds were really damaged from years of wearing acrylics, so I needed to cover that up. And you can see the opaque nail bed sparkle covers everything up. Um, that's also available in my store as well. Um, I also have the regular nail bed sparkle, which is um, not really an opaque. It's just a pink nail bed sparkle, and that one's actually very pretty as well. Um, these mixes are available if you're interested. I have other ones in there. Um, I also have in my store my my monomer my, that I use, um, and it's very good stuff. It's the Professional Purple MMA Free Monomer. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you those really quick. Um, I did them a lot shorter than I'm used to as well, but they're cute. Um, just getting back into it, so... Um, 
again, I'm not a professional. I, this is just what I do. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, just uh, let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.